let's take a look at how we can measure something with a ruler a proper method for measuring something with a ruler. The rule for measuring with a ruler is that you have the accuracy of the measuring device plus one estimated position. And that last position can be a zero or a five. Here's a simple example. On this centimeter scale, this particular line has a, a length of one point one, two, three, and zero hundredths centimeters. So this is 1.30 centimeters long. That last place is the estimated position of the end of this line relative to that three millimeter mark right there. So this line is 1.3 and zero hundredths of a centimeter. That zero represents the error at the end of this line. In any measurement, the error lies in the last digit. Let's take a look at another situation. This line is one, two, three, four, five. It appears to be five millimeters long. And it looks as though this line falls pretty much exactly on or as close as you can get to exact to this half a centimeter line. So the measurement would be zero centimeters, we write that down, point one, two, three, four, five. That's the millimeters, and then we get one estimated position. And because this line appears to fall exactly on this line, to the best of my knowledge, I would have to put a zero there. So this line would represent 0 0.50 centimeters. Here's another example. This line appears to be 1.5. And you'll notice that this line, well, it looks like it's almost or pretty close to halfway between this line and the next millimeter line. So we're going to have to divide that in half. So our last digit is going to be a 5. So this would be 1.12345 1 5 5 centimeters. 1.55 centimeters. And you'll notice that the last digit where the error is located can only be a zero or a five. The last digit, and you want to remember this, can only be a zero or a five. You can't say 0 0.51 or 0 0.52. It either has to be on the line or halfway between, as this one is. So, this measurement is 1.55 centimeters. That's one whole centimeter, 0.5 centimeters, which is 5 millimeters, that's 5 millimeters. And then you can estimate the next digit, which has to be a 5 or a 0. In this case, it's a 5 because it looks to be halfway between these two marks. All right, let's take a look at a couple of more lines. Then I'll give you a little quiz. Here's a situation. We have a line that looks to be one, two, 
two whole centimeters. And then one, two, three, four, five millimeters. And that last line, well, you know, it, it's kind of fuzzy at the end of that line, but we have to make a judgment. Does it fall halfway between these two marks? Or does it fall on this mark? Or does it fall on the next mark? If you say it falls directly on this mark, then it would be 2.50 centimeters. If you say it's halfway between, then this would be 2.55 centimeters. If you think this line is closest to this next line over here, this next millimeter mark, then the measurement would be 2.60 centimeters. Well, in my estimation from where I'm sitting, I think that this is halfway between, so this is 2.55 centimeters. 2.55 centimeters. Now, with this next one, I'll give you a couple of minutes to write down the length of that line. So go ahead and, and pause the video, figure out your answer, write it down, and then turn the video back on to see if you're correct. Okay, let's measure this line. It looks to be one and it looks like it's falling pretty close to that line, so I'm going to round it off to this one centimeter line. And so that would be 1.0. That tells me that there's no millimeters, and we can actually put a zero, we have to put a zero, in that place because we want to show that, we want to show the accuracy of the measuring device, which is that zero plus one estimated position. And since it looks like it falls directly on that line, it's going to be 1.00 centimeters. If this line had been halfway over here, it would have been 1.05 centimeters. All right, here's a quiz for you. You take a few minutes and figure out the measurement of that line. How long is that line? And remember, you are limited to the precision of the measuring device, which is the millimeter line, plus one estimated position. All right, let's see if you got your quiz correct. The measurement of this line is one point four five centimeters. Remember, the last digit is where the error is. The last digit has to be either a zero or a five. You can't have a 2, you can't have a 1, you can't have a 6. It has to be a 0 or a 5. And that is how to use a ruler to measure 